Welcome back. All right, a bit of a quick video today. I think I can help you out a good bit. So the new Blizzard UI is a great start, but there's a long way to go. And while it's good that Blizzard know that, we want to use it today. So I'm going to show you a few little add-ons and tweaks that make the best of WoW's new direction. Uh, the add-on that essentially saved my own UI has absolutely tiny download numbers, so you probably don't even know that it exists. I'll also include today some great add-ons that extend the game's functionality while still blending in, giving you that true stock Blizzard aesthetic, but with more functionality. Just like with today's sponsor. Us! It's, it, it, it's us. Uh, look, our patrons are a massive part of making this all possible. And here is this month's loot, and there's also a special, so you get even more. It's a hell of a lot, and it's all from our game development team. But uh, hey, there's more. We've also got the Lore Walking Podcast, where you will find hours of in-depth lore content, uh, early access, of course, to upcoming videos, a few of which are, are there now, and uh, it is the best way to help us out, and you get cool stuff in return. So, patrons, thank you, and if you would like to join up, then you can click that link below. Blizz HUD Tweaks is the one that I finally landed on after loads of testing. It's just fantastic, and it adds bafflingly absent features. It lets you hide various things if you'd like, scale your class resources, change their position relative to the player frame, and have a full fading control for the entire UI, which is what I love the most. Look, I don't need my action bars when I'm not in combat, and I don't need to see my player frame. This lets me hide those things based on a number of conditions. And what's awesome is that if you have a target, there, there's an option that means that if you have a target, it will treat it like you're in combat. So imagine you've got no UI, you click in an enemy, boom, your UI appears. It's just great. And unlike the default visibility options with the Blizzard UI, UI elements here can actually fade in when you mouse over them, which is an absolutely essential feature. It also lets you hide new elements like the minimap, XP bar, micro menu, and bag bar, which otherwise are just completely static with no options. Really, this add-on goes a long way to essentially fixing what Blizzard shipped. Move Any is a fantastic pick. It lets you unlock and then move many UI elements. It's got a lovely uh, UI, a really good grid. And this does include UI elements that Blizzard, for some reason, doesn't let you move. So, simple as that. Next, icons then. If you're playing at 1080p, or maybe you're using some larger buttons, this is a must-have, and I love it. It's not a traditional add-on, but it is a massive improvement. Basically, it's the old icons ran through an AI upscaler, and the result, mostly speaking, is absolutely gorgeous. It does remove the original border style if you use these icons with weak ores or a bar replacement add-on, uh, instead having a thin black border, but generally speaking, Man, it just looks insanely better. I mean, the comparisons speak for themselves. These are gorgeous. All you've got to do is download the zip and then extract it to your interface folder. And certainly playing the game at like 4K with these is, uh, oh, it is crispy. All right, the micro bar. So a lot of people complained about how the new micro bar maybe looks a little bit bland, bit over modern, or just is kind of hard to pick out from a distance. Well, actually, the good news is that there's a weak aura that adds some color back in, and then it's got a whole bunch of custom options that even lets you pick uh, custom uh, colors, right? So this is just put together by a user called Shadow Turtle. I think it's uh, really great. And if you're even more comfortable with weak ores, you can actually go in and make some edits yourself if you really want to. Extended Vendor UI is something that I just stumbled across when I was basically sorting by new on Curse. And there's a fixed version for Dragonflight. It's pretty neat. It just extends the Vendor UI to have more options. So, look, it can be a bit frustrating when you're flicking through a whole load of tabs. So, this is just a nice addition, and it still looks like stock Blizzard. Hide Action Bar Borders is another lightweight add-on that does just that. I found that the borders that Blizzard have are honestly, they're just too low resolution to look good on my monitor. Uh, so while there is a bit of an aesthetic clash while using this with the new player and target frame design, overall I find it to be a nice upgrade, but basically I would say, Blizzard, could we please have a higher resolution texture for the button borders? That would be awesome. I'm going to bring up Immersion. Yes, this is not stock Blizzard and it does change how quests look radically, but it changes the gossip frames to be in keeping with the style of the talking head frame that Blizzard added in the Legion expansion. 
And that basically means that Immersion looks like a V2 of World of Warcraft's panels, as if Blizzard were to continue designing uh, based on the direction they started with Legion. I really love this add-on, and uh, I think it makes questing so much nicer. I mean, walls of text suck. They're literally harder to see. But smaller chunks of text, those are easier to read. They're easier for your eyes to scan. That's big, especially because Dragonflight really does reward you for paying attention to its quest text. Leatrix Plus then lets us do a lot. First, we can improve the game's chat feature by, uh, well, removing those annoying buttons to the left-hand side that as far as I can tell, no one uses. <laughs> I mean, like buttons to go up and down, why are they there? Just use a scroll wheel. <laughs> um, there's a ton more chat options as well. There's also text options that let you tweak, say, the font size, which could be useful to you. You can hide keybind or macro text on buttons. You can even hide error messages and the text that flashes on your portrait when your character gets hit. Leatrix also comes with an enhanced tooltip function that I think a lot of people will prefer to the default. And there's even a new minimap option if you would like a more simple square and then also some nice customization that's not there by default. There's actually a neat little five slot cooldown tracker that you can customize, a lightweight little thing that might actually suit your needs. Then frames have got some nice options as well with Leatrix. You can actually make them be class colored for your player and your target. So if you're a hunter, you can have hunter green, which uh, I like. You can also skip those like, are you sure boxes that appear, those little dialogue options, uh, which I like, and then also fast loot. Now, basically, World of Warcraft can loot items far faster than it does by default. I think Blizzard basically slows it down to ensure readability for players, but I mean, I would not go back after using fast loot. If fast loot is combined with the game's new generic interact key, it just lets you like, you know, loot mobs with just the key bind. No mouse is needed. And with fast loot, it is so smooth. Also, combat plates will auto show and hide enemy nameplates in and out of combat, which uh, is pretty handy. And to be honest, that's just a sampling of the things Leatrix can do. There's uh, certainly more, so have fun playing around with it. Next then, Blizzard's World Quest UI kind of sucks. You can't really see what's going on at a glance because only the tooltip of an icon actually contains the important information. Well, Angrier World Quests displays them in a little drop down that's on top of the normal quest panel, meaning that it actually blends in with the default Blizzard UI really well, while just giving you some more functionality. Going back to Leatrix, Leatrix Maps does uh, similar to what Leatrix Plus does, but to the map frame. Have you ever wanted to remove the border? You can do that. Do you want to zoom in more than normal? Do you want the map to remember your level of zoom from when you last opened it? You can do that. Want to unlock the map frame for movement? I mean, you can do that, but any move also does do that, so I guess you don't really need this function. Uh, you can also fully reveal the map, removing the fog of war. You can show coordinates, which is lovely. Really, it's just the little things. That's what I love about all of these Leatrix add-ons. They just give you nice little bits of quality of life that don't get in the way. I mean, do you not like how the map fades when you move? There's a button to disable that. Finally, then there is the enhanced battleground map that's pretty damn cool. Uh, it makes it larger, you can center it in your character and do a few other things, which uh, for some people will be really nice. Plater then, look, we've talked about this one in other UI videos. I don't wanna, I don't wanna repeat myself too much, but I do feel like for somebody who wants a stock Blizzard UI with just a little bit more functionality, I feel like this is quite good. Um, the big total replacement mods are not the goal of this video, but Remember, Plater can be customized. And a few weekends ago, uh, Matt on our team, he made a preset for Plater that looks like the stock World of Warcraft nameplates. But of course, it has all of the great nameplate functionality of the Plater add-on, which is especially vital if you're doing content like Mythic Plus. Advanced interface options. It's a funny one. It restores a bunch of options that actually were there in the past, but Blizzard removed for some reason, and it adds a few new ones. It does have a few overlaps with Leatrix, but it does offer some other features, um, including some that exist in the game, but are literally not hooked up to a menu. Yeah. I mean, do you want the action cam to go along with WoW's new action targeting mode? Well, while you could use the macro to do that, this add-on will just give you a nice button. And while there are full fat add-ons for the action cam feature, advanced interface options does have the basics. You can change things like, say, having your attacks trigger on key down rather than key up, which to some people will um, feel a little bit lower latency. It might feel just a little bit more snappy for your gameplay. 
You can also change quest sorting to a proximity-based mode, which is neat. There are loads of options for the floating combat text, and then many, many, many things called CVARs. These are basically just the actual variables that the menus in the game tweak, and what this add-on does is just expose them all to you, so you can kind of just go wild with that. Okay, next then, I want to talk about Wago.io. It's a fantastic site that lets you submit, rate, and import weak auras. It's also the de facto place that weak auras are shared. And what's cool is that with Dragonflight's UI revamp having a export and import function, Wago has actually added a new section called Blizzhut. At the time of this video, you'll, um, you'll see that there's not a humongous amount, there's only 21 uploads, but hopefully, maybe with me giving it some exposure here and more people being in the know, then more people will upload their setup. So if you've got a really awesome setup that you've made, and you feel like other people should check it out, you can always upload it to Wacko. So it, uh, it could be better in the future, but as it stands, it's a pretty nice little place to browse for ideas. Okay then, that's it for today's video. The goal here was, well, I know there's so many people who have been desperate to move away from LVI. Maybe they just don't want that visual appearance. So they try to make a mostly stock setup and uh, they end up getting kind of disappointed that, um, you know, there's just some features that aren't there. So hopefully today you've got a comprehensive little list of the things you can check out to just make your World of Warcraft feel better while still making it feel like the default intended Blizzard experience. Okay, I hope you found this useful. See you next time.